Hello, Namaskar and good afternoon. Welcome back to NCRT's live interactive session and this is Simran Singh. Viewers, you are all watching this particular session on PME Vidya channel number 9. You can also connect with us through our YouTube channel that you all know it's NCERT official and in case during our live interactive sessions if you have any of the queries then feel free to write down to us in the comment section of NCERT official. Now for another half an hour we have a session of mathematics for all class 9 students and the topic that we are going to discuss today is chapter number 8 part 1 quadrilaterals and for that we are also joined by an expert in the session so let me introduce her to you in the conversation we are joined by mrs bina prakash namaskar ma'am good afternoon and similar good afternoon to you all a very warm welcome in the session a very warm welcome in the session ma'am is senior pgt mathematics currently serving at campion school has joined in from bhopal so throughout our live interactive session, if you have any of the queries, feel free to write down to us at this mail ID that is flashing on your screens for class 9 students. dth.class9 at the rate ciet.nic.in. Besides, you can also connect with us through our contact number that is flashing on your screens. It is 8800440559. So ma'am, let's quickly begin this session of class 9th for all the students and let's get to know what we are going to study under part 1 quadrilaterals. Uh, definitely. Actually, we will be continuing with geometry part of ninth class. The first part we took was Euclid's geometry, then we had lines and angles, then we had a particular type of figure that is triangle. We discussed certain properties of triangle. Now we move on to the next polygon that is we have increased one more side and that's known as a quadrilateral. So quadrilateral, as the definition, it's very clear from this definition, a closed plane figure formed by joining four points in a plane, where we need to know that not more than two are collinear, that is not more than two lie in one straight line. This straight line has, this line segment has only two points, that is A and B. The point C is not on it. So we have the points A, B, C, D in a plane. We join these points and form a closed figure. Now you find that there is another figure here, P, Q, R, S. P, Q, R, S are again four points. So we have joined the points P to Q, then Q to R, R to S and then S to R to get this closed figure. This is also a polygon, it's also a quadrilateral, but there is a difference between these two polygons. One is known as a convex polygon, the other one is known as a concave polygon. Now what difference you can find in the two? The difference is, see when you join the alternate that is we leave one vertex and join the first one with the third one so then that vertex joining that line segment that we get is known as this line segment that i have drawn is known as a diagonal fine so we have p joining p when you join p to r we find that this, this is one diagonal now how do we distinguish between a convex polygon and a concave polygon when you join the two that is when you draw the diagonal we make sure that they lie inside the polygon. Like here, you have both the diagonals lying inside. And what you find here, you are joining these two points. This is not in the quadrilateral. So that's the basic difference between the two polygons. So we will be back basically discussing only convex polygons. Okay, so, so start with first we'll have quadrilateral um, the properties of a quadrilateral, convex quadrilateral. The first property that we see is the sum of all the interior angles of a quadrilateral is fixed. You find the sum that is this is one angle, interior angle A, then this is interior angle B, this is interior angle C, and then it's interior angle D. When you add all the four angles, you find that angle adds up to 360 degree. So how is it proved? To prove this, what we do is, we'll join this B to D and make two triangles out of this quadrilateral ABC. Okay? We'll be making two triangles. And I think last chapter, we did the sum of the angles, you remember this part, that the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So we have used that, that is in triangle ABC, angle A, Angle A, angle 1, angle 2, this 3 adds up to 180. Likewise, for the other triangle, angle C plus angle 3 plus angle 4 also adds up to 180. Now, what we have, if we add these two expressions, 
हमने ये दोनों एक्सप्रेशन को एड किया है वाइल एडिंग मैंने एक चीज का ध्यान रखा है कि आई बी टेकिंग अपर पेयर बिकॉज आई नीड टू ब्रिंग इन एंगल बी and you have seen that pd has divided angle b into two parts one is known as angle 1 and the other one is known as angle 3 so do part mein bat gaya hai so i need to have that together so for that reason i have used a bracket to combine 1 and 3 likewise i have seen in this figure that b also has been split into two parts 2 and 4 mein divide kar diya na because bd humne banaya so we take it together so we'll add it's possible to take up the square we'll have to add no hum kaise bhi add kar sakte we'll take up the square So when we add the left hand side, we are adding these quantities. On the right hand side, we are adding 180 with 180, so that gives us. So what we find is this: one, one and three together makes angle B. Two and four makes angle D. So we have the total sum of the angles, the four angles. They add up to 360 degrees. Fine. Now, up for me, I will show you that is it. That always you will be getting. Now, you have this quadrilateral showing you on the screen. Mein. सिमरन जी आपको दिख रहा है स्क्रीन में या मैम इट इज विजिबल नाउ आपको मेजर्स दिख रहे हैं ये चैनल दिस इज वर्टेक्स ए इज इट हाइलाइटेड इट इज क्लियर ए बी सी डी दीस आर द वर्टाइसेस ऑफ दिस क्वाड्रिलैटरल एंड द मेजर ऑफ एंगल ए इज शो सीन एज 108 डिग्री दिख रहा है जो आपको 108 ये दिख रहा है 108 या इट्स विजिबल बीटा इज 93 डिग्री ए 93 डिग्री देन गामा इज 63 डिग्री ए 62 डिग्री एंड लास्ट एंगल डी दैट इज 96 डिग्री एड करिए ये तीनों सबको यू विल फाइंड दैट दे एड अप टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्री अब आप देखिए अब इसमें देखिए आप अब मैं क्या कर रही हूं ये एंगल इसी इसी एंगल को फोकस करिए इसी एंगल को फोकस करिए सो वॉट आई डन सी देखिंग इट इज चेंजिंग एंड वो चेंज के कारण आपको कुछ और भी चेंजेस दिख रहे हैं इस टाइम वैल्यूज चेंज दिख रहे हैं आपको सिमरन जी अब इज इट क्लियर या मैम इट्स क्लियर अब तो आपको क्या दिख रहा है You keep changing. That is, it is immaterial what measures these angles have. आप कोई भी कोर, आप कोई भी एंगल कॉर्डिलेटर देखिए. Each time they always will add up to. They are always adding up to 360 degree. दिख रहा है आपको? So that is what we have in it. That is, sum of angle, interior angles of a quadrilateral will always be 360. Right? So this is one function. The next information that we have is sum of exterior angles. अब उसी के जैसे एक्सटीरियर एंगल वॉट इज एक्सटीरियर वेन टू बी यूज द वर्ड एक्सटीरियर वेन दट एंगल एंड द ऑल्टर एंगल दैट वी हैव यूज एज एक्सटीरियर दे पेयर अप एंड मेक अन एटी डिग्री सो दैट इज अ स्ट्रेट लाइन इट्स फॉर्म फ्रॉम द स्ट्रेट लाइन देखिए अब ये स्ट्रेट लाइन ए बी लाइन सेगमेंट बी ए लाइन सेगमेंट एक्सटेंड किया है आरो कर सर दिख रहा है ना आपको दैट हैज एंगल ए एज वेल एज एंगल वन The angle A is inside the quadrilateral. One is exterior, so one is known as the exterior angle of A. Likewise, the angle which is shown is the angle D. It is inside the quadrilateral. I have used small letter D. Its exterior, that is, which pair makes up a straight line, that is known as angle four. ऐसे मैंने ये फोर एंगल्स को डिवाइड किया सो वॉट वी हैव फ्रॉम हियर इज द सम ऑफ एक्सटीरियर एंगल्स ये जो एंगल वन है टू है थ्री है फोर दे एड अप टू थ्री सिक्सटी अब उसके लिए अगेन देखिए एंगल वन एंड ए एंगल वन एंड ए दे एड अप टू वन एटी डिग्री बिकॉज दे फॉर्म अ पेयर ऑफ लीनियर एंगल लाइक वाइज एंगल टू एंड बी आई थिंक इट्स क्लियर सिमरन जी क्लियर है ना टू एंड बी दे ऑल्सो पेयर अप एंड दे वन एटी डिग्री थ्री एंड थ्री ये भी वन एटी डिग्री है लाइक वाइज फोर एंड थ्री दे ऑल्सो एड अप एंड दीवाइज वन एटी डिग्री अब ये चारों एक्सप्रेशन को एड करिए ऑल द फोर एक्सप्रेशन So adding all these expressions, I've taken the numerals A, B, one, two, three, etc. Take it and literals take it and take it. A, B, C, D, take it and take it. So on the right side, what do we get? There are four times 180 degrees. Now, if you solve it, what do we get? We come across this expression: angle one plus two plus angle three. Now, here you are seeing A plus B plus C plus D. Where have I written? A plus D plus C. Where have I written? What are you seeing? Here, 360 degrees. Why is it 360? Because isn't it this? Result that we have used here, that is the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. मैंने इसका value लिख दिया है. So what will you get as the sum of one, two, three, four together? They come out to be 360 degree. So this is another information that we have in terms in a quadrilateral. Fine. So आगे चलें हम. Of course. Now, now we have types of quadrilateral. अब कितने types of? एक है trapezium. One pair. Of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is pair parallel. That is, this quadrilateral का एक pair parallel है, so then it is known as a trapezium. The next one is parallelogram. 
parallelogram mein kya hai each pair of opposite angles are the sides are parallel both the pairs are parallel it is angle opposite sides i am sorry it is opposite sides of a quadrilateral is parallel now here dekhiye aapko ye in this side parallelogram this side is parallel to this side as well as this is parallel to this so this is a situation for a parallelogram now this parallelogram mein bhi we have types of different quadrilaterals first one we will take up rhombus rhombus is when all sides are equal that is in any parallelogram if all sides are equal they are all the sides equal so this is known as a rhombus and in rectangle the opposite sides are equal and each pair of angles that we have they is form 90 degree they are 90 degree. so that means each opposite sides they are parallel and adjacent sides they are perpendicular and what about a square square is a special type of rhombus where each angle measures 90 that is it's a rectangle com square rhombus combination it measures each angle should be 90 degree interior angle should be 90 degree at the same time all sides of this quadrilateral or a parallelogram should also be equal so then it is known as a square fine now let us take up the properties of a parallelogram now what is that first we have the diagonal of a parallelogram divides it into two congruent triangles if you have a diagonal then this diagonal divides this parallelogram abcd into two congruent triangles so last chapter mein humne dekha tha what does congruent stand for how do we define congruent what we mean by congruent congruent is when you overlap this triangle adb o on bcd it should be coinciding that is a cube per a hona chahiye so how do we prove that they are congruent we had certain axiom yaad karke dekhiye theorems bhi the propositions bhi the to humne kaise use kiya hai dekhiye ab yahan pe abd and dbc dono triangle hai isme angle adb and angle dbc angle adb this is equal to angle dbc why have we got this equal this is because the side ad is parallel to the side bc that's the why they form a pair of alternate angles so whenever you have two sides parallel and there is a transversal the alternate angles will always be equal these are two alternate angles likewise we have abd 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 is this angle is equal to bdc bdc is this angle why have i written there equal that is because we are given that ab and cd they are parallel because in the parallelogram opposite sides are parallel wo information use kiya hai so therefore the these pairs of alternate angles will also be equal ab aapko ek aur cheez information chahiye because we have got little information and the third information is isn't db common to both so therefore the two triangles are congruent isko bhi agar main aapko dikha do ye wala cheez so i think ye dekhiye yahan pe dekhiye yahan aapko parallelogram dikh raha hai this is a parallelogram fine aapko clear dikh raha hai do different colors mein dikh raha hai aapko i'm sorry ye wala dekh aapko do different colors mein dikh raha hai yes in blue and blue the yellowish color mein do different triangles so parallelogram is divided into two triangles by this diagonal this diagonal ke karan the triangle of parallelogram has been divided into two triangles so how will you prove that they will overlap in there are dhyan se dekhiye ye dekhiye ye shift ke dekh liye yellow triangle ko main shift kar rahi hu isn't the same triangle moving ye yellow hi triangle move hua na abhi now see ab dekhiye getting it what do you find they are congruent to each other they are overlapping they have overlapped the yellow triangle jo maine shift kiya hai it has been it is covering now the blue triangle as it not cover the two, two triangle so therefore that says that the triangles are congruent fine it is true for any triangle uh, quadrilateral uh, parallelogram it is true for any parallelogram what is the other property that we have or the other theorem that we have for the parallelogram the opposite sides are also equal that is it's not just parallel they are also equal 
So this proof is actually a continuation to this. So we have proved that the two triangles A, B, D and C, D, B are congruent. We have already proved it. So I am using that result. So we have this as corresponding parts of the congruent triangle. We are using this triangle's congruence to get this result. So we have the pro this is the triangle ABD. I have already used it. So this says that the side AB and side CD they will be equal. AB and the side CD are equal. And likewise, side AD that is A and the third vertex C and the third vertex CD they are equal. So we find that now a parallelogram, in any parallelogram, the diagonals will divide into two congruent triangles. The opposite sides of a parallelogram are also right? And then C. We have a few more properties of parallelogram that I will show through this. This may be the parallelogram? Yes, ma'am. Is very clear? Yeah. Now, we have the information that the side DC, side DC dikhrapo, point highlighter dikhra, pointer, yeah. and side AB are parallel. Fine? So, they, that is angle beta, to the 71 degree, and alpha, that is 109, they add up to 180 degree. Dikhra, 180 degree, hai, hai, yes. so, will be parallel, they will be parallel. Yes. result yaha likha Dekhe, niche dikhra, result, aapko. Are you able to read this? Angle yes. A plus angle D is 180 degree. So 109 plus 71, 180 degree. Likewise, angle B, because they form these two lines are parallel to each other. Now, what is the scene in this parallelogram? Aapko ye dikhra, opposite sides are equal. Dekhe, A, B and C, D are A, B and C, D are equal as well as A, D and B, C are also equal. Now, you can change it. Now, what is the measure? Hmm? 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 Now this length AD and BC they are also see this length AD and CD are equal AD and BC are equal 13 and 13 6 that's the value of the sides of the quadrant parallelogram fine likewise the opposite angle this is another information the opposite angle the measure of angle A and angle C measure of angle A is a pink color the angle A what is its measure uh, I think I made it um, I have wrongly marked it. It should have been B and D. Anyway, this is the angle of A. Angle A's measure is 42 degree. Angle C's measure is also 42 degree. This is the second part. 42 and 42. They are equal. They are opposite angles. A and C just we had. This is B and D. They are also opposite angles. So whatever be the type of parallelogram, wherever you have, what you find each time, the opposite angles are equal. The blue blue color they are equal as well as the pink pink that is opposite angles are equal. So opposite sides are equal, opposite angles are equal. Now what is the other information? Hai. See one more information I have written there. In the screen, mein dekhra, diagonals bisect each other. We have another information that is that you can measure kar sakte. length. You can see the AE length. Dekhra. This is 7 unit. Bohat light hai, isliye shayad nahi dikh pa raha screen hai, but this measures 7 this AE and EC, their measures are 7 and 7. Likewise, DE and EB's measure is also 7 and 7. So they have same length, that is the diagonal, they are bisecting each other. So these are different different properties of a parallelogram. So when we come across such properties, we can very well say that the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. I hope I have made it clear through this. Of course, ma'am, it is quite clear. I would also like to inform you that we'll try to take one more last uh, solution or problem for all our viewers because we are left by the last three minutes in the session. So what we see here is if each pair of opposite side is equal, then that that quadrilateral has to be a parallelogram. So here's a properties used in parallelogram proof. So now that let me discuss one question. 
ABC is an isosceles triangle with given AB. The length of AB and AC are equal. And AD is exterior bisector. That is AD bisects angle PAC. So when bisects angle PAC, ye measure jo angle hai, isko do parts, equal parts. I use the letter A and A because they both have equal measures. And AB and AC are two sides of this triangle which is said to be equal with the hua hai. Therefore, these two measures will also be same that is B and B. Now, what information do we need to prove first? That is angle DAC. D, A, C and B, C, A. B, C, A. That is angle A and angle B are equal. How do we prove it? Now, let's see here. Angle A, B, C. A, B, C. A, C, B. A, C, B. They are actually interior angles of a triangle. Isn't it? Now, this is the exterior angle. This is the whole angle. P, A, C. PAC is an exterior angle. PAC is an exterior angle. Its interior opposite ke angle hai. Interior angle ye hai. Uske opposite angles ye hai. Ye dono. So dono ka add karke we get this exterior angle. This was also a result which we proved in the triangles. So now when you take up the angle ABC kya hai? B. Angle ACB kya hai? That is also B. So what result do we get? 2B is equal to 2A. This gives us the relation that is A and B are equal. So if these two angles they are equal, they are actually alternate angles. They form a pair of alternate angles. And if an alternate angles are equal, then we have this result that is they this is what the first part that you have to prove. They have pal, that is AD and BC will also be parallel. Now we are already given that C D is parallel to A B. It's given to us that C D and CD and AB are parallel. Now we have proved that AD is parallel to BC. So what will this quadrilateral be? A quadrilateral where both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel. What is such quadrilateral known as? It is known as a parallelogram. So that's an application of this. Then we'll move on to the questions from the exercise in the next class. Okay. Anything, any doubt that you have come across? No ma'am, certainly I think the concept is quite clear to all our students and we would have loved to continue the session but uh, due to positive of time, I will wrap it up here itself. Thank you so much Bina ma'am for being a part of this conversation and informing class 9 students about part number 1 quadrilaterals. So viewers throughout our live interactive session, if you have any of the queries, feel free to reach out to us through different mediums that we explain to you in our sessions. Once again, thank you ma'am and thank you to all the viewers. Stay connected to NCRD. Within a few minutes, we'll be back with another session. Namaskar. So I suggest that the students